now i am doing this question by fourth way fourth way i don't say it is a proper mathematical way but it is helpful to those students who have very weak in this chapter the benefit you will be getting will be you will be able to eliminate few wrong choices and whatever choices are remaining one of them will be correct it may also happen that by this way you are able to eliminate all the wrong choices this is also possible what i mean to say when i will do this question you will understand before i proceed further i would like that you should remember these very basic formulas to start take any one of p and q as tautology say i take p as tautology and q as it is and then in the choices also i will take p as tautology and q as it is and then i will say which of the choices matches with the answer of this and by this way you will be able to eliminate few choices that choice whose answer doesn't match with this that will become surely wrong and if by chance you are getting only one choice whose answer matches with this then i will say that is surely the correct choice i mean to say whichever doesn't match with this that is sure to be wrong but the choice whose answer matches with this that can be correct and if by chance the answer of more than one choice matches with this then in that case to choose the correct choice out of the selected one you can take q as tautology and p as it is and then again you will see answer of which choice matches with this when i will do this question you will understand it more clearly in first case i am taking p as tautology and hence the given statement will become because we know that tautology and any statement is the same statement hence i get negation q or here because i have taken p as tautology negation p becomes fallacy fallacy and any statement always gives fallacy and this implies that here it will be fallacy fallacy and any statement is fallacy and negation q or f fallacy with any statement is same statement that is i get negation q implies f and we know that if r and s are two statements then r implies s means negation r or s hence using this formula it becomes negation of q that is q or f and we know that fallacy or any statement is same as that statement and let us see the answer of which choice is q as negation of tautology is fallacy fallacy or q is same as q and and tautology or any statement is tautology and tautology intersection any statement is same statement hence it is giving the answer q and if i take p as t tautology or any statement is equal to tautology hence this is sure to be wrong choice because the answer of this statement was q and in third case it is fallacy or q is same as q therefore here i get q and negation q q and negation q is 
always fallacy hence i can say third is also wrong and fourth one is fallacy or q because fallacy or q is q hence the answer of this is q but we have found that answer of 1 and 4 both are q that is so far we have concluded that 2 and 3 are sure to be wrong but out of 1 and 4 one of them correct that is the benefit i have got so far is i have been able to eliminate two choices and now and now to choose correct one out of 1 and 4 now i take p as same and q as tautology and what i will get i will get p and tautology will be p hence this part will become negation p here tautology and negation p will be negation p hence negation p or negation p becomes negation p hence this is giving negation p and in this part negation q is fallacy fallacy and any one is fallacy therefore this part becomes f and the question now becomes negation p implies f and we know that if r and s are two statements then r intersection s means negation r or s that is this becomes p or f and this is same as p hence the whole statement has reduced to p and now let us see out of these two which one is correct note that as i have taken q as tautology tautology or any statement is tautology hence this has become t therefore this becomes surely wrong choice and because only one choice is remaining hence that is sure to be correct but still for clarity purpose i will prove that first choice is correct agreed this way was better way but this is not proper mathematics if you want to learn proper mathematics you should use the you should do the practice this is the way i have told you just as a last alternative